snarling beasts are hiding in the under. <laughs> I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things, but we have to talk about it at my camp. Keep close. It's nearby, under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> Welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. You'll have nothing but time if you don't take what help you can. I've been here for many years. I know things. Remember that. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. Now, why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the <laughs> Kashyyyk is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, it would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way. And you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circle has left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. They don't respect this place. They are butchering wildlife and threatening entire species. It's getting under my skin. The Wookiees could take care of themselves if they wished, but the animals are truly helpless victims. Oh, please, this is arbitrary errand work. But such are the requests of the aged. You still have to do it. Their camp is in the far northeast. Now remember, if I wanted them dead, I would have done it myself. Find a better way. They are not that far northeast of here. There's usually five in the area, as far as I can see. The captain of the lot is the one that earned my ire. Mishandle my garden, Willie. <laughs> You presumably have a ship. I've seen all I wish to here. Isn't that enough? I mean, I'm really sick of the trees. And perhaps your destiny might show me something new. You never know. Don't talk back to your elders, child. Look, they know me quite well. And they're always on alert when I approach. The only way I could get rid of them would be violence, which would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. I want them gone, but with as little fuss as possible. They have already caused enough trouble as it is. Good. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! Shoo! Malfunction. My primary motivators are in proportion. Error. Damage terminal. Playback call. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. 
Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. <laughs> Eli, what are you- You got your money, you double-crossing snake! We had a deal! Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was- Playback. When he- Playback. Eli, what are you- You got your money, you- Shutting down. Private-
Who are you, another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. So you're playing tourist? That isn't smart. The Shadowlands are all business. Mess around, and you'll end up dead. That said, if you want to make some credits while you're looking to die, I might have a job for you. I could use an extra hand. A couple men have gone missing. If I lose many more, I'll have to close up shop. We are hunting the little simians, the tack. They have a gland that acts as a stimulant when powdered. I figure I've got two or three wealthy years to butcher the lot of them. You want in before I make them extinct? I really can't quote a price. Depends on the market. I give fair value for each one, rest assured. That promise will have to do. Hurry up, you're eating into my profits. Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? We've spent too much on setting up just to walk away. As long as the sonic emitters keep the Preds away and I've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining through you is nothing. I could use an egg with... I re All right, then, I'll set you up. First, you need to be able to draw them out. It's easy. I'll spray you with this scent. It drives them crazy. They can't help but attack you, even if it's a hopeless fight. Then you just carve them up. There's a big fleshy bulb in their brains that you want to scoop out. You can't miss it. I'd feel guilty if the money weren't so good. Come back here when you've got the glands and I'll pay you. Good. I'm not down here to direct traffic. No problem. Got it. No problem. Didn't work.
Again, unless you business with me, I suggest you turn around and walk away. I'll take whatever you have. Keep it up and we'll both be rich. At least until we bleed this planet dry. <laughs> Good. I'm not down here. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. I'm not... They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. What of it? That sounds like a fair deal to me. Here, use this code to access the one I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Anything you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Why am I here? I'm here. I'm just a guard for this emitter. What do you want to know about that? It's just one of five or so. I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will.
What? Welcome back! I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. Yes, yes, in the east past the poacher camp. I saw it when it was installed. It's a very effective barrier, but I know how to get past it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors.
What? There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerka equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. But there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashyyyk. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. Oh, 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 oh,
Yes? Here. 
Almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Freya. We are friends. Don't you remember me? <coughs> well, this may prove difficult. Yes? Oh. 
That's when I first saw him. I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Thank <laughs> you. 
Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek, but good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the? It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. Accessing. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Error. Data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. Then you are not worthy of further access. You will be rejected as unsuitable. I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed package. <laughs> Corruption has resulted in gaps appearing in my memory and in that of the original installation. It could be theorized that these gaps are intentional, but I have no information on that. Error, I cannot present a non-presence. Perhaps you can ask other questions and data corruption will become evident. I have been programmed with a very limited... I can't say. I will try to bring forward the behavior that you need to proceed, as outlined by my programming. I can't say. Preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. I can't say. Likelihood of restriction by previous user, 100%. I utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions, and I will attempt... The current purpose of this installation is defense. Error, that information... Accessing, I... This interface was installed to better access the ancient data stored within the pre-existing system. The exact date is unavailable. Programming keys indicate no earlier than five years before current Republic standard. Yeah, five years ago. I didn't notice it. This must have been installed in strictest secrecy. Couldn't have been circa. No other information on time of installation or identity of user available. Likelihood of... Sorting by identity. Three attempts by the Wookiee Freyer, all denied. 152 attempts by human Jolie Bindo, all denied. <laughs> Call me stubborn, I guess. There wasn't much else to do around here. Error. List of access attempts prior to these is corrupted. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Error. 
Data regarding subject Revan corrupted. Error. Data on Revan unavailable. Sorting by identity. Error. That information is unavailable, but contact is not required for the execution of my programming. Scanning range of this facility is well beyond planetary boundaries. Answer will be given within the limits of... I have been programmed. I can't say... I can't say. Preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. I can't say. Accessing. Yes, I have found a star map. Error. Data. Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the par- There are measures available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. With that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the star map or can be made ready. Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. Evaluation commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor, and he will serve five years, while you serve none. He is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? The temperament of a companion is unreliable at best. You wisely trade the threat of one year or five for none or two. This machine certainly seems to want a very specific type of response. In this instance, the Wookiee is unreliable. His family has been a mire of treachery. I judge the answer correct. You display the proper behavior to match the pattern in memory. Evaluation will continue. Hypothetical. You are at war, deciphering an intercepted code. You learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days, and they will attack one of your cities in 5 days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? Very good. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy to their lost codes. Ultimate victory required the death of the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. You achieved the proper result with logic that does not match the pattern in memory. I shall adjust my evaluation. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to question you. Same scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, but also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? But if nothing happens, your people will have no need of heroes. No, they do not see a threat. You have coddled them. Your empire will be brought down by introspection. You have failed to match the pattern in memory. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. Sure. <laughs>
Life forms detect. Yes, there's the thing. Prime. Matt. Begin so. Error. Subject. I am sorry. I have been. I can't say. I can't say. I can't say. Access. I you. Error. It has since. Well, that is a malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last error. Information regarding the builders. Of no evidence of such a civilization. Agricultural record indicates this planet. Error. Specific conditions corrupt. Answer will be. I have been. I. I can't say I can't access your request. There are measures with then you are not worthy of information. Eva, you travel with a if you both he is the temperament of a com this machine's in this instance you display hypothetical a single spot in what do you Very good. It alter You achieved the proper result with logic, hypothetical, with no same scenario as before. Of course you do. It makes the most strategic sense. Your people will rally beneath you against the common foe. As their eyes turn outward, your rule will strengthen. The trappings of war grant many opportunities. You have matched the pattern in memory. I recognize you and will fulfill my designated function. Yes, you are ready. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. Ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. An interesting theory. I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? 
Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. Sure.
Yes? Deadly toxic. Feel it. Feel it. So be it. I'm here.
Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master.
You're back! I knew you'd come through for me! I knew I could count on you! Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me. And Greta won't lend me any. It's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back or something. But you come through on this, and I promise you'll get a huge payday down the road. Two... Th no! Three thousand credits! How's that sound? Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Theresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Grip, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian ale, Good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Hey, don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. Greetings again from the off. Farewell. Hey there. What can I do for you? I appreciate everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp Shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. I don't like the sound of this. Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? Thank you for helping me with Griff. You... you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and... on the run, like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but, uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. 
I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not gonna dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. How can I help? You have been patient with me, haven't you? I suppose you deserve an answer. But you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't need to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. Every time I try to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. The Force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantooine. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. What I've been trying to tell you is that I've reached a decision. But this is not the proper place for this discussion. I think we should have some privacy for this. We can talk about this the next time we return to the Ebon Hall. How can I help? Yes, I promised you an answer when we reached the Ebon Hawk, didn't I? But I'm afraid you won't like it. We should have some privacy for this. You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I have learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result of our powerful bond.
I'm afraid so. Although I suppose I should thank you for all you've done. For the le Please, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I was using you. Don't you realize how difficult this was for me? Why do you think I came to this decision? I know how hard this is for both of us. You just kept pressing forward, so I had to be the one to step up and do the right thing. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? You... you mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I... I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. But I don't... I mean, I can't. Malak will... Okay, you've made your point. Now shut up and kiss me, you fool. We shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. The Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. It was... it was a moment of weakness. When I kissed you, we shouldn't have. I'm sorry, no. I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi. We can't act like this. Not now. Not where we still have to deal with Malak. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together.